everyone and welcome to another home renovation video. I think this is episode 7 now, so if you've not watched my videos before, hi I'm Emma. Me and my husband have bought this three bedroom semi detached house which we're planning to live in. Uh, but yeah, it needs some work. So, so far we've had an electrician in, who's my brother, a plumber, a plasterer, and also a carpenter. So if you've not watched my videos before and you want to see the progress I've made so far, then click above, I'll leave a link up there. But talking about the carpenter, he has actually been in this week whilst we've been away at Centre Parks and put some skirting boards down in the dining room and living room, which I'll show you now. So we've just gone for a plain white MDF skirting board which actually matches some of the skirting boards which are already here in some of the other rooms. So and especially as it's MDF and in white already we don't have to paint it. Which is good, it will save us some time but we would still need to paint the other ones in the other rooms because they are actually wood themselves. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this progress. I'll just show you by the fireplace as well. Ignore all the mess. On the floor we need to tidy some of this up and this is cable from my brother as well but yeah for the fireplaces we've stopped just at the fireplace itself instead of going in and around the inside because we'll have some wood or you know some sort of decoration in there I don't think we needed to go in there really just a little bit in the living room as well so yeah I think that looks really good there has been another update as well which I'll show you so as I've mentioned in other vlogs my brother was doing the powerpoints he got up to the first fix part of those jobs before the plasterer come in but now that the plasterer's come in and he's managed to plaster around the sockets for my brother my brother's got the sockets on now and we have power back in a lot of the rooms yes there's a few weeks now we've only been uh, we've only had a couple of power sockets i think there's there was two downstairs and only i don't actually know there wasn't one upstairs at all so we've had to have extension leads when we've been sanding and, and whatever but anyway let me show you the power sockets so I will try and find like a before clip here because a lot of the power sockets were down here um, like quite low down the wall which isn't in regulation anymore and they were quite old sockets so they hadn't been updated so this is just one in the living room which I uh, thought I'd show you, you can see but it's been filled away out of, uh, around it and yeah just went for the typical white MK plug sockets but I'll just show you a couple in the bedroom too I'll try and put in a before shot here but I think I showed you where my brother had chased through the wall and of course there was a gap in the wall which we could have done ourselves but as we were getting the plaster it in any way we thought we'd um, let him do it as part of one of his jobs so as you can see that's all been filled around now with the plug socket put on and I just wanted to show you these ones here next to the bed or where the bed will be because these were the USB ones which yeah I'm so excited about that will give us a bit more ports, uh, uh, some more ports for various things like fitness watches and, and whatever. So that's good and in my last vlog you might have seen that I was sanding down some of the walls in, in one of the spare bedrooms because we are going to start painting this weekend. I'm determined to start painting. So I sanded all of that wall down in a small spare room so hopefully we can start painting today. I'm just waiting for my mum to come round to help me with that and oh, I'm just so excited about getting some of the paint on the walls. I thought I'd just come in the small room to, to explain as well because I'm not sure if I explained it in my last vlog but we needed to sand these walls down because after we'd got off all the wallpaper and everything else the surfaces were a little bit bumpy if we painted on them straight away those bumpy sort of textured bits would definitely show up with paint so they needed all smoothing down before painting and another thing we're going to do as well is put a load of water in the paint before putting on our first coat because that will help the wall not soak up all of the paint and then you know so we don't have to put on so many coats in it because my mum said and my mum is really good for DIY stuff that if you just put paint on this without adding any water it just soak it all up and you'll just be there forever painting so that's part of the plan as well just wanted to share that knowledge for you anyway yeah want my mum to get here soon It's next. 
next day now and we are all stationed to go again, although only for a couple of hours because the England match is on in a few hours, well it's on this afternoon actually for Euro 2020. Anyway, back at the house today, like I said, I just thought I'd share the walls with you after they've been, um, after they've had their first coat. I'm actually filming on my phone because I forgot to bring my memory card in my camera, so that's not very good, is it? So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Definitely needs another coat, but of course, as I explained yesterday, we had a watery first coat to try and seal the walls so that the walls wouldn't soak up all the paint when we started painting. These gray marks are just a couple of bits where we've had to fill where there might have been dents and, and whatever in the walls. So yeah, looking good. Right, okay, so we've painted all around the edges now and we're going to paint, give it a seam in its first coat. Yesterday we didn't have these big broom sticks. <laughs> well, is that what they're called? Broom sticks? Anyway, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, give that a go. <laughs> Ceiling done, which is looking good. If you can remember, I had some holes and gaps around this wall, which I had to fill, and it was grey filler. And if I come a bit closer, you can see that they are beginning to get covered up now. And of course, this paint will dry whiter as well. So yeah, it's looking good. I was just saying to my mum how much I love white paint. I just feel like it cleanses the house. And yeah, we're going to get started on these walls now. So that's it. That's the second coat drying on the walls and the first coat on the ceiling. So yeah, that's it. I think we're going to be heading home now to shower all of this paint off of us before we can sit and relax and watch the England game this afternoon. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have. Apologies for the rubbish quality at the end. Like I said, I forgot my memory card at home so I've had to film on my phone, but hopefully it's not too bad. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you want to keep up to date with this house renovation journey, then please don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave as well. And yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me how you guys are doing, if you're enjoying these videos so far, and if you've got any tips or tricks which we've missed, or you know, we've got anything coming up which you think, yeah, you guys should be doing this actually, please let me know. I need as much help as I can get, to be honest. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!